Hello everyone, so today I wanted to go over an example of how to find the modulus of uh, elasticity. This is a very uh, simple problem that it's probably going to help you visualize how uh, this works. So in this particular problem we have a bar having a length of 5 inch and a cross-sectional area of uh, 0 0.7 uh, inches squared that is subject to an axial force of uh, 8,000 pounds. If the bar stretches 0 0.02 inches, determine the modulus of elasticity of the uh, material. The material has linear uh, elastic behavior. So, as always, let's start with what is given in the problem. And we're given that the length is uh, 5 inches, our initial length. And we also not know that the uh, cross-sectional area is going to be 0 0.7 inches squared. Also, our uh, axial uh, force is 8,000 uh, pound, and uh, the delta, so the stretch, is going to be um, 0 0.002 inches. And then we're asked to find the modulus of uh, elasticity. Find, and this is going to be E equals question mark, because we don't know it yet. So let's go over and analyze the problem. So we need to come up with uh, a uh, relationship between our given and find. We need to f figure out how we can use what's given to find w what we're asked. And our ultimate goal is f is finding the modulus of elasticity, which by definition is uh, sigma over uh, epsilon, which is uh, strain, so stress over strain. We're not given uh, sigma or strain directly, but we can calculate that because we know that uh, sigma, which is a uh, stress, is the uh, internal force over cross-sectional area. And our internal force is simply going to be P, so we're actually given that. Uh, and then let's look at uh, our strain, which by definition is uh, delta over L0. Delta is our stretch, and L0 is uh, our uh, uh, length that is given. So uh, then we can use what we just came up with uh, to solve for E, because we know E is going to be sigma over uh, epsilon, which means we have P over cross-sectional area over delta over L0, which simplifies to P times L0, over uh, delta times uh, cross-sectional area. So let's go ahead and rewrite that down here. We have P L0 over delta AC. And uh, notice that we're given all this information, so all we have to do is plug it into the equation that we just uh, came up with. So our axial uh, force is 8,000 pounds. Our initial length is 5 inches. Our delta is 0 0.002 inches. And our um, cross-sectional area is 0 0.7 inches squared. So we have pounds and inches, so we're going to end up with a, a pound per uh, square inch, so uh, PSI. So let's go ahead and plug that into the calculator and uh, see what we get. So we got 8,000 times 5 divided by uh, 0 0.002 times 0.7. And we get a pretty large number, which uh, actually is a good sign because uh, the modulus of elastic elasticity is actually quite big. So let's see. And as we said, we have pound over inch. So it'll be uh, over square inch because those will cancel. Uh, we have uh, PSI, pound per square inch. So then we can divide by 1000 and get uh, K uh, KSI, which is K per square inch. So E is going to be 28,571 uh, 28, approximately KSI. This looks like, uh, this material looks like it's uh, some sort of uh, steel uh, alloy 
and uh, our answer makes sense because if you look at uh, your table at the back of the book you're going to be, you're going to be able to find something similar to this uh, modulus of elasticity uh, elasticity so uh, thank you very much for watching and please let me know if you have any uh, questions that I might help uh, clarify or if you have any additional questions that I could uh, go over. Uh, thank you, have a great day.